Welcome to On Print Shop. Today in products, we will see how to add predefined products. To add predefined products, you will need to go to Admin Panel, Products, and then Predefined Products. So before we proceed to the predefined products, let's understand what is the predefined products. So predefined products are the products where your customer do not need to design the product, the products are pre-designed, they are just ready to sell and your customer needs to just place an order for that particular product. For example, here few predefined products are already added like say pen, bag, folder, t-shirt, cap and card holder, sports bag or photo mobile covers. So let's see how to add a predefined product. To add a predefined product you will just need to click on add button in top right hand corner. Let me clarify one thing that adding predefined product and a normal product there are only few basic changes. Rest of the things are one and same in predefined product as well as normal product and the procedure to add the predefined product or a normal product. So I request you to go through the steps in how to add products video and you will know how to add the product and then it will be very easy for you to add predefined products. So now I will show you how to add predefined product. So first add the product name like say for example t-shirt then select the category apparel and accessory price defining method, fixed quantity and price rest of the things are just same as a normal product then comes in the configuration size active so if your predefined product is size based then you can activate size from here otherwise you can keep it inactive second thing is enable stock management so if you need to maintain stock of your predefined product then you will need to enable stock management. I have enabled stock management from here. So you come to know how to manage stock. Then user type, display on home page, free shipping and production days that you already know how to add. Then save and continue. Here you will need to add the product size. Like say for example, I will just add an example of size for the t-shirt. Like say 42 size t-shirt width 42 height 44 then XL width 48 height 50 and double XL width 52 and height 54 after adding the height and width so the size of the product you will just need to click on save and continue so after adding the product size we will need to add the product price it is just like the normal product you can add the product price here just for example I will add randomly price 100 quantity 10 dollars 100 quantity 20 dollars and 100 quantity 30 dollars and save and continue then rest is just like the normal product only the thing is that you can manage stock from here rest of the thing is same as the normal product only the thing is that you can add stock from here to manage the stock from here you can manage stock account history like say for 42 size stock is zero right now yeah. under the stock summary so first of all you will need to add the stock so to add the stock or remove the stock you can add or remove it from here just add the stock from here like say 5000 I will select add over here if you want to need any comments to be added you can add it over here 
and save. So now you can see the total creditor stock is 5000. Order quantity is right now zero. But when your customer places an order, it will show the order quantity over here. The remaining stock it will show up over here. And the stock account details you can view over here. And you can export stock history from this export stock history button in the right hand corner. Then stock settings. So suppose you have a stock of 42 t-shirts for 5000. Now if you want your system to notify you when your stock reaches to say 1000 t-shirt. Then you can add over here 1000. So notify me when stock reaches at 1000 and click on save. Now this is when system will notify you when stock reaches to 1000. But what if stock is over? Like say you are running out of stock. Do you want to allow your customer to place an order even if you are running out of stock for this particular product? Then for that you can allow order if product out of stock. So you can allow your customer to place an order even if you are running out of stock. So for that you can activate this button and click on save. So this is how you can manage the stock and for different size you can add different stock over here. Like say 4500 click on save and stock is added for Excel t-shirt and for double excel size you can add like say 6000 t-shirt and save so now the stock is added so this is how you can manage the stock and one more thing is different between say predefined product and the normal product is upload print ready files so you can upload print ready files from here for particular product sizes and the print ready files you upload over here they will consider they will be considered for all the products either the products are new or older one like say if you upload new file from here then that new print ready file will be considered for all the old as well as new orders. So for all the orders the same file will be considered which you have uploaded the last in from this upload file button. Rest the settings are same as like the normal products. So this is how you can add predefined products and let's see some examples of predefined products on the storefront. For example here is the card holder and Dexpal and clock. So when you go to storefront, you can see this Dexpal and card holder. Let's click on card holder. So here's the card holder image and here's the price calculator like say 50 quantity or 100 quantity. Color blue. I have logged in as customer and you can see now directly I have option to agree terms and conditions and continue directly to the checkout page there is no designer option available over here so this is how you can add a predefined product and your customer can place an order for a predefined product thank you for watching this video